fellas? We are seriously not that far away from getting our first major redesign for Apple Watch in forever and getting a bunch of brand new features, more than I can count on my fingers. And I just can't wait anymore, so I'm gonna freeze myself until Tim Cook just goes on stage and announces it. Come get me when that day is. In all previous Apple Watch series generations, whatever you want to call them, the company has made it a point that while the additional tech and features of Apple Watch change and get better every year, the overall package of Apple Watch sort of stays consistent. Uh, that's till now, uh, this year. While all of us nerds have nothing but endless predictions and rumors for Apple Watch X, Apple Watch 10, many of them come from reputable-ish places. So uh, we're gonna hit the major ones. Let's start off with an easy one, just sort of ease our way in. The first thing, major change for Apple Watch 10, the band system. Everyone and their grandma, uh, except mine because she's dead, must know how Apple Watch bands work by now. We've had them for almost 10 years. But the issue there, an issue that has existed for 10 years and matters now more than ever as things progress, those bands take up way too much space, like in the watch itself. Look at this big crater crevice thing. It's We could put so many things there, like battery, uh, lunch, whatever. And that's why the cutout is gone and magnets are in. From Bloomberg's very own Marcus Garmantis, we should expect a totally overhauled band system that comes with this new Apple Watch 10, alongside the benefits of more space inside for stuff to happen. Moving the bands fully outside of the watch will also allow Apple Watch to get even thinner, which, you know, uh, is necessary because that's how technology works. Just make it as thin as possible because uh, we're bored. If you really look at how long the Apple Watch look has been around, it's basically the same since day one. Uh, uh, it's the same. And no, the red dot on the little digital crown thing or the red circle, that, that mm, I ain't counting that. Moving on, reputable news outlet, the Alec has said that Apple Watch 10 will also be receiving a much more energy efficient OLED display. Now, before you get your undies all stuck up there out of pure excitement because OLED typically means better battery life, we gotta think about this from Apple's perspective. You might notice that no matter what new watch comes out and no matter what it has in the way of new features, Apple still shoots for the same 18 hours of battery on a full charge. They just uh, think that is enough, I guess, and so it's gonna have to be enough again. What we are likely to see instead is literally the same battery life, just in a much slimmer form factor with a nifty new band system. You know what, uh -uh. this is America. This is America. We live in the, the land of the free, home of the brave. That's how democracy works, right? So you guys could just vote me in as the new CEO. I will give you better battery life. I will give you better battery life, and I will put Mac OS on iPads. Do I have your vote? And we haven't even touched the biggest changes coming to Apple Watch Series 10. Let's first go to the sponsor, and we'll be right back. Listen, if you Googled yourself right now, I think you'd be pretty surprised what's just out there in the open. This happens because there are entire companies called data brokers that collect all of your data through some less than legal methods and then sell that data to other services, advertisers, and individuals who don't have your best interest in mind. That's why today's episode is sponsored by our great friends over at Delete Me. When you sign up for Delete Me, their entire team of experts provide you a detailed report of everything those pesky data collectors have on you in just seven days. And then that same team goes to work and gets you out of Google search results and all of these other data broker sites. And since 2010, Delete Me has helped their users remove about 35 million pieces of data from the public web. Take back control of your online data today. Use our code FPT to get a whopping 20% off of a full year of all Delete Me US consumer plans protection for one person. Of course, that link is down in the description below. As much as the sweaty nerds like you and I love things like a new band system and a new design, that's all nice, sure. But compared to the rest of what this watch is going to do, those suddenly seem shallow and way less important. The real impact for Apple Watch Series 10 is gonna be health. One of the biggest, possibly most enticing features for some of you is that the Apple Watch Series 10 is rumored to have sleep apnea detection, which would use data collected at night from your sleeping limp corpse, detecting changes in your breathing pattern and preventing you from, uh, you know, apnea. 
Ing. There has even been developments on allowing Apple Watch to monitor your blood pressure, which is huge, massive. Now, if you've watched this show long enough, you know how much I talk about this, how many times that already, as it stands from the last 10 years, Apple Watch has saved thousands of lives. It is insane. So to have something like this that even goes deeper into heart issues like hypertension, high blood pressure, that sort of stuff is the silent killer. Well, it ain't so silent no more, bitch. This is a massive step in the Apple Watch becoming our one-stop, keeping you alive shop. Listen, the reason this is so important is because it's passive. Like, you don't even know that it's doing it. Apple Watch is the number one best-selling watch in the world. Not just smartwatch. That means a lot of people are wearing Apple Watch regardless. It makes something like this so, so accessible. Equipment that you would usually need from a doctor's office or you'd have to go somewhere and get a checkup will just actively be reading your vitals and let you know early if something is wrong. Okay, the next one is, I don't know, maybe just as big, maybe bigger. For some of you, it is bigger. This is a feature that we covered in our Apple Watch documentary, which we'll link below. We covered what Apple Watch was like from its very inception, a feature that they were trying to put out the door right away and something they've been struggling to get in this watch for 10 years is blood glucose monitoring. For some of you, you know why that's huge. Having blood glucose monitoring passively on your Apple Watch eliminates the need for poking yourself with needles or blood leaving your body. Like actual insanity and life-changing for some of you. Now again, this has been the feature that they have struggled with the longest. So it's sort of still up in the air whether we are getting this on Apple Watch 10 or not. But the fact that they're working on it, and it is coming, is something that we should pay a lot of attention to. Lastly, but not leastly, uh, when could we actually expect to see Apple Watch 10? When would it show its fancy little Apple Watch face? Uh, well, that part kind of just uh, depends on Tim. Just depends on Apple, really. If we make a seemingly safe assumption that Apple Watch plans on treating Apple Watch 10 just like the iPhone 10, then we might have some dates here. For instance, the original Apple Watch was announced in September of 2014, but not released until April of 2015. Using that in modern times and, well, then we have some time, that would put a potential announcement or release window as either later on in 2024 with the iPhone 16, or maybe we drift on into spring of 2025. Either way, uh, I ain't complaining. Now, before you go, I just want to say one more thing. If you are watching this right now, that means I'm already gone. I have frozen myself. I placed myself in my freezer, and I am awaiting the announcement of Apple Watch Series 10. Don't worry. You don't need to send help. I'm cool. <laughs> Literally, I set an alarm for around New Year's for my cat to come get me out of the freezer, so we're good. He wears a bow tie, so, like, you can trust him. Oh, uh, hello? Anybody? Did it happen yet? <laughs>